No matter how committed you are to your intermittent fasting journey, a weight loss plateau happens to most of us. We're here to explain the five main reasons for a fasting plateau and give you tips on overcoming the holdup. Basically, any weight loss, no matter which diet approach you're taking, will eventually lead to a plateau. It happens simply because your body adapts to its new weight. So, after a few months of intermittent fasting, you might reach a weight loss plateau and feel unable to lose more weight. While plateaus are a healthy part of sustainable weight loss, they can leave you feeling discouraged. But don't give up just yet. There are some significant steps you can take to break the plateau and get back on track with your weight loss. Number one, you are eating the wrong food. We're sorry to break it to you, but not all calories are created equal. You need to be mindful of what you eat. Your food choices significantly impact your fasting success. How to fix it. Choose nutrient-dense foods that bring health benefits. There are two food groups you should pay attention to when building your fasting regime. The first one is fats. We want to make sure you're eating good fats, not bad fats. So, get rid of canola oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil, and sunflower oil. Replace them with healthy fats, such as olive and coconut oils, nuts, seeds, and avocados. The second one is carbs. Carbs raise insulin, and the whole reason behind fasting is to lower insulin. So make sure you're lowering your carb intake. The best option is to swipe from refined carbs, such as bread, pasta, white rice, to whole carbs, like potatoes, vegetables, legumes, beans. Finally, you have to limit sugar and processed foods. These empty calories will not only make your weight plateau, but can also also lead to gaining some unwanted pounds. Number two, you're not fasting long enough. That might sound quite basic, but your fasting plateau might happen if you're not fasting long enough. Although the 16-8 fasting plan is best for many people in terms of maintaining muscle and losing fat, it may not sufficiently shift the body into a fat-burning mode for everyone. How to fix it? Make your eating window shorter, and that may be what you need. Just don't go from a 16-hour daily fast to a 23-hour fast out of the blue. You will feel awful, and that could be dangerous for you. Sometimes, just a slight change might be enough. For example, if you're doing 16-8 fasting, you can switch to 18-6 fasting. Or if you're doing 18-6 fasting, try eating one meal a day, and so on. What is more, consistency is also really important. The more days per week you practice IF, the faster you break your plateau and the better results will be. Before going further, we want you to take a small break and take a free do fasting quiz that you'll find below in the description. As you can see, managing intermittent fasting can be a struggle, especially when breaking the weight loss plateau. By taking this quiz, professional nutritionists will personalize everything for you based on your individual preference and lifestyle. Do fasting is a super easy way to manage fasting, so don't miss the best deal. Number three, you consume too many calories. The basics of fat loss come down to calories in versus calories out. You need to burn more calories than you take in to lose body fat. That's what we call a calorie deficit. Intermittent fasting works because it leads to calorie restriction since you're eating only during set times. However, if you consume too many calories during eating windows, even the calorie deficit during the fast won't be enough to get the results you want. How to fix it. Try calorie counting to track your daily caloric intake and adjust your diet accordingly if you're overeating. The best way to do this is to start a food journal or get an app like Do Fasting. This way, you'll make it easier to pinpoint where you may be falling short and understand if you're consuming too many calories. For assistance with fasting management, the Do Fasting app helps you reach your goals with eating plans, training routines, and calorie tracking. Number four, you aren't exercising. If you've never exercised before, you're probably cringing right now. But listen, if you want to get maximum weight loss results, focusing on fasting and exercising is key. Like any other weight loss method, intermittent fasting requires an energy deficit to promote fat loss. Think about it. If you are eating fewer calories but also moving less, you won't have the same energy deficit as if you were exercising and eating less at the same time. How to fix it. Adding an exercise routine to your diet plan is the best way to increase fat loss while maintaining lean body mass. Don't start with difficult training at the very start. Just give yourself small goals. For example, walking an hour a day. Later on, try to include strength training into your workouts. It will improve your metabolism and resting calorie expenditure. With more muscles, your body will need more energy to function, so you'll burn more calories. And it's totally up to you when to exercise. 
during fasting or eating window. Try to experiment and choose the best window for your exercises. We can assure you, you will break your weight loss plateau in no time. Number five, you don't have the right sleeping schedule. Did you know that insufficient sleep can directly impact your ability to lose weight? And not only that, Sleep disturbances can mess with your hormones. It can make you feel stressed and irritable, reduce your energy levels, and negatively affect your appetite and metabolism. So, if you've been sleeping less or are regularly dealing with interrupted sleep during intermittent fasting, this can be holding you back from achieving weight loss progress. How to fix it If you want to improve your sleep quality, try to set a structured bedtime and wake-up routine. That means you should go to bed and get up at the same time every day. Also, put all screens away as soon as you lay down. Instead of scrolling on your phone, try listening to relaxing music, reading a book, or doing a short meditation session. Watch our next video about intermittent fasting mistakes and another one about top tips for a massive weight loss during fasting.